Welcome everybody to this Tint Whistle CC telecast. So winter is over, we've navigated the wind, snow and the rain, the pre-season groundwork is mostly complete and after a successful winter nets the players are raring to go. It's April which means it's the start of the English cricket season. In fact it's the 22nd of April and round one of the Derbyshire and Cheshire Cricket League. Today our first 11 extend a very warm welcome to Hayfield Cricket Club. In terms of the starting 11, Buzzer is in place as the new first 11 captain for the 23 season and Puri is in the supporting role of vice captain. It's also great to welcome Puri back to Speedwell after a couple of years away which included securing a league title with our local rivals Broadbottom. Old school Tinsler is Puri and great to see him back in TCC Green. Carl's got the gloves and Rosie is out on deck for one more season. Also a massive big welcome to our overseas signing for 2023. Min. Min joins us from Tuggeranong Cricket Club located in Southside Canberra. Min comes to the UK looking to build on a successful Grade 1 season and we're delighted to welcome him to the Tinsel family and continue our tradition of welcoming brilliant young Australian cricketers to the club. It's also great to see Lynn back in the score hut for another fantastic summer of cricket at Speedwell. This is a league game so that's 45 overs per side. A big thank you to today's match ball sponsor Simon Barrow and of course thank you to our principal men's sponsor Syndicate Original. Given the terrible weather that we've had recently, including the wettest march in over four years, it's massive credit to the ground staff for getting the ground into tip-top shape. But we've had rain throughout the night, which finally subsided about 9am this morning. From here on out, no further rain forecast, just cloud throughout the day with highs of 12 degrees. As you would expect, the track is a little soft under the surface. But as you can see from the visual, we've had a leak under the covers at one end of the track, which is going to need to dry out. Long story short, we needed to wait an hour for the wet patch to dry. We're starting at 6 minutes past 2, resulting in a 1 hour delay and a reduction in overs to 36 per side. Hayfield won the toss and asked Tinsel to bat first and the guys are now on the way out. Here we go. Bus. Come back for the second. Comfortable ish. It's like Kez has played the wrong line at that one. In comes Min. Best of luck. Nice. Dominant call there. Lad. Swung and a miss. Nice and straight from Min. Good shot for Non. Lovely shot. Three mid off for four. Saved by the bowler. Oh, he's given him LB. Min goes for five. In comes Carl at four. Buzz. Shot for none to mid off. Clipped off his legs. 
Didn't quite get that one. Will they take one? Yeah, yeah, they're coming through for the one. Where's that going through square? Will it make the boundary? I don't think so. No, he's got it. But they've come back for two. Clipped again. Definitely one run. Yeah, fielders on it. Quick single, buzzer makes it just. Another good shot for Nani, he's frustrated with that. Dug that out well, Buzz. Buzz is bold for two. Tinsel 19 for three. Not the start we wanted this. We've got Pooley in at five now. Nice easy one, first up. Peeled. Players not give it. Ten overs down, 19 for three. Not the most perfect start, this. Yeah. Oh. Clipped off his legs, full boomer. Caught at mid on. Carl's gone for five. Pewie next up. Only very straight Hayfield today. Deserve credit for that. The soft hands from Pure. Just like that was going down leg side, judging by the wicket keeper's movement, but the umpires give him, purely goes for none. Here we've got Gav in at seven. Down to seven already. Not what we wanted. We'll take anything we can get today. Let's give him. Pewee goes for none. Scotty at eight. Here we go. Come on, Scotty. We need you today. That's a technical start. Kept a bit low, that one. Well done, Gav. Straight bowling continues. Oh, again, good stuff this. Dropped a little short of first slip there.
That's a great shot. Great shot from Gav. Three mid off, four runs. <laughs> Top of middle stick. Gav goes for seven. Down in at nine, he'll noodle one down the leg side for a single. Solid defence from Dan. Leg buys. We'll have anything. That's a delightful shot. Shot of the day, Dan. He's found the boundary. Great shot, Dan. Noodle through third man. Nobody's going to chase it down the slope. Region. 13 left, 58 for 7. Not what we wanted. But these two are digging in. And that is appreciated today. Down the leg side, another one in the book. Oh, nice attempt from the bowler there. Unlucky. got him well batted down for your 17 you worked hard for that mate brownie at 10 shot for none through mid on nice clip off the legs through square leg, is this going to go? No, I think he's going to get it. Nice pick up and throw. Come back for two. Runs here. Just the one. Nice and solid brownie. Ten left. 62 for 8. Oh. Ah, 
guys give him. LBW. Unlucky Sky, you worked hard for your nine. Rosie, last money in. Confusion there. Oh, Big shout, umpire's not interested. Oof, that's popped nastily up into uh, Julia's boat race. I think he needs to go off for some ice. Which he has done, and we've now got a subfielder on. Um, that's Rosie Bowl, Tinsel all out for 62. And that's T. Quick break. We've got the curator doing his bit, just whilst we're waiting for them to come out in the second half. Just a quick reminder, it's our start of season party next Saturday, 29th of April. If you're in the local vicinity, come along. Follows the TCC versus Whaley Bridge home game. First team are at home next week as well. Umpires are out for the second innings and it's Scotty opening up from the clubhouse end. We need three miracles, I think, to win this, but let's be uh, positive. Confident shot, well done, Dan. Racing away to the boundary. Big swing and a miss, and that's gone for four buys. Not what we needed in the first Delver, kept a little bit low. Big step down the track. And get the timing right there, the batsman. Peely from the West Street end. Nice easy one, first up, that's raced away down the slope through third man. Stumped, everyone goes up. Umpire not interested. Well done, men. Big swipe across the line and he's bowled him. Well done, Pewey. Hayfield 13 for one and just the start since needed. Oh, yes! Scott is in the mix. 13 for two. Pressure's starting to build. Oh, he's on that trick ball, Scotty. He's got another one. Hayfield 13 for three. Come on, Scotty. Well bowled, sir. Here he comes. Come on, lad. Shoveled through cover for four runs. Big appeal, big appeal. Umpire says it's going down leg side. Oh, play the mess, they go up. Yeah. 
Little round men. Brownie cover in there. Balling well today, Pewey found the edge there, dropped in front of second slip. That's put away. And Dan picks it up and slings it back in. Come on, Scotty. Stuff men. Oh, Scotty, you legend. He's in the wickets again. The pressure is starting to build at Speedwell. Hayfield 19 for four, chasing a target of 63. Stop from Min there. Oh, he's shoveled it up. Oh, Brownie's put him down. Oh, he'll be disappointed with himself there. One to Gav. At mid off. Yeah, pretty comfortable. He's, he's deep there in fairness to him. He's not on the single. Big appeal, big appeal. Umpire's not interested. Oh, he spooned it. Oh. Didn't quite uh, carry to Gav there, in fairness to him. Did his best to get down. Rose is on. Rose is coming out the uh, the roof tiles at the West Street end. Oh, he's appealed, he's appealed. No, no, oh, there's confusion. Carl wanted it, didn't get it. Clear frustration. And Rose is looking at him wondering, WTF. Big appeal, caught behind, caught behind. Umpire says, not this time, fellas. That's a big swipe. Over square leg. Four runs. Ah, oh. yeah. Another, another boundary here. A dot ball there from Scotty. Drilled right down the ground, along the deck, and it's going to go for four. Just getting back into this a bit, Hayfield. Steady in the ship. Hooley's chasing this one down. I think they're going to come back for two. Come on, Rosie. Rosa, he's got him. He's got him. Well done, buzzer lad. Safe fans. Hayfield 37 for five, and it's game on. Brownie joins the attack from the clubhouse end. Good dot ball. Shape there from Brownie. Oh, yeah. Ross is uh, enjoying himself out there now with these boundaries. Steady head that he is. And again, where's that gone? Yeah, it's gone all the way. Another four. 
experienced batter Ross, he's done a lot of damage to us in the past. Scotty now at the West Street end, beats the bat. That's on the fairway. Sixteen overs gone, forty-six for five. Really need another wicket. They they need to get Russ out. They're having a bit of a break now. Brownie back into the mix. That's been where's that gonna go? Buzzer's chasing it down. Looks like he kept it to a single. Well done, lad. Nerdled back a gully. Down chases it down. Oh, well done, Brown. It's a great ball. He created pressure here, Tinsel. Fair play to him. But, uh, yeah, that's another, another boundary. On comes Min. Our new overseas for 2023. Has he got the magic fingers? for us found the gap two to win two to win buzzers chasing it down I think they're gonna come back they're coming back and it's a comfortable two and that is the end of the game Hayfield have knocked them off yeah, purely shaking hands. Well done, Ross. Turned it into a contest. Fair play to Tinsel. He took some wickets, to, they built some pressure. And at the time at which Hayfield could have wobbled, Ross stepped into the breach, full of experience, and steadied the ship and got them over the line. There's your match summary. Hayfield ball straight all day. Full credit to them for that. Anyway, we'll be back next week. We'll bring you highlights of the Timbersall versus Whaley Bridge game. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, share it on socials. All very much appreciated. Until then, stay lucky. Have a great week.